हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हेन यू आर एन एमेचर फोटोग्राफर यू बेरली केयर अबाउट एडिटिंग योर इमेजेस बी इट फॉर सोशल मीडिया और योर पोर्टफोलियो बट ए प्रोफेशनल इंटीरियर फोटोग्राफर वुड नो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ गेटिंग डेट ऑफ इम्परफेक्शन इन द रा शॉर्ट्स सो दे विल यूज सॉफ्टवेयर सच एज ए लाइट रूम और फोटोशॉप टू इम्प्रूव द इमेज एंड मेक इट मोर प्रजेंटेबल इट मेक्स ए वर्ल्ड ऑफ हेट डिफरेंस to your portfolio and how your client perceive your work lightroom is a powerful tool to take your interior photography from good to great today you will watch how lightroom enhance each detail the interior photos the best thing we can save all editing in the presets and you can use the same to the other pictures i have created the presets and added the download link in the description where you can download the presets and the images Before start, kindly subscribe my channel if you don't. If you like the video, support me by the super thanks by clicking on the thanks button. It encourages me to bring new videos on new topics. I have already opened a picture. You can see the image has a very dark and a very bright area. If I increase the exposure, it increases the brightness all over because of the brighter area become more brighter. So you need to edit specific areas. So masking is the best option. Mask and maskings are the new words. for any type of the selection or adjustment to your image that does not affect the whole image in previous version of the lightroom these tools were called local adjustments mask or masking is a term borrowed from the photoshop in the photoshop a mask allows you to make a change to a specific area of an image and that is exactly what the new lightroom tools in the new masking panel will help you do i have already created a full video on masking i recommend you watch it I have already submitted the link in the description and also added a card above. First, I am selecting luminous masks to correct the brightness. It is the luminous method that's used to the create luminosity mask in the Lightroom. Creating a mask based on the luminous values means that you can target area based on their brightness. The luminous range mask consists of the range and smoothness sliders but also has an eye dropper tool. and a show luminous mask check box the most common option is to tick the show luminous mask box and use the red overlay i am adjusting by moving slider i taking a moment to pull the slider back and forth while holding option in the mac or alter in the windows to see how the gray cycle mask changes paying attention what happens when i increasing the left norm and what happens when you decrease the right one what about when you pull them close together now it shows the brighter area with the red overlay to see live adjustment i uncheck the overlay box first i am decreasing the highlights and little adjustment with the dh slider if any unwanted area selected you can remove it by subtraction so i am adding a new subtraction brush in the same mask you can also add area that left by holding alter in the windows or option in the mac so i am removing the unwanted area that you can see by disappearing the red overlay see before and after you can see the window and door area are over exposed by the light so i added a new brush mask and paint the windows glass and door glass uncheck the overlay and increasing the contrast slider value and decreasing the exposure slider then decrease the highlighter slider value and little adjustment with the dehaze you can adjust accordingly your requirements and now windows and doors are more contrasty and saturated now i am using a liner gradient mask it allows the effect to the blend into the rest of the image avoiding tell tale hard edges that sometimes results when selecting areas in photoshop so i am drawing dark the light area of the picture you can see the dark area red overlay is a darker and the faded to the brighter area because i draw it left to right or dark to right uncheck the overlay box to see editing increasing the exposure slider to the brighten the dark area you can see only the left area brighter than the right area because we draw liner gradient left to the right and middle area is in between the left or right it looks more relaxed after few adjustments i have seen here is the unwanted area that was selected so i added subtract brush in the same mask and removing the windows and the other area here is the light that was off i want to let it so i added new brush mask and painted over the light and increasing the exposure slider to overexpose the light to look it is on 
to look more realistic i am adding a radial mask over the area where is the light so light spread around the wall light with the radial filter tool you can make a local adjustments with an elliptical mask you can use the radial filter tool to draw an elliptical area around the subject and choose the reduce the exposure saturation and sharpness of the portions outside the selected mask i am drawing a radial on the wall and increasing the exposure and it look realistic light is the spreading over the wall light see the difference before and after you can see how each mask change the picture and enhance properly to add more effect i am adding a radial mask over the wall lens here and i am drawing a radial and increase the exposure and change the color tint to the yellow i am duplicating the radial by clicking on the right button of the mouse and select the duplicate and placing the radial to another lens here is the color bending on the roof color is a not even so open the right menu with the mouse button and select edit tint then select adobe photoshop the image is opened in the photoshop workspace i am selecting the roof area with the pen tool after selection i select the roof color by placing dropper on the roof now our foreground color is selected according to the roof to look more realistic i am going to the filter menu selecting gaussian blur and move slider to the 64 and click okay creating a curve adjustment layer and give the curve to the increase the brightness match to the wall also make a same adjustments on other required areas after that save the document a new document will be opened in the lightroom workspace with photoshop editing now i am selecting the old image we will use the lightroom editing and go to the preset menu in the left panel and click on the right and select create preset giving the name interior brighter one and creating new group interiors selecting the all editing option those i have used and click on the create now you can use this preset on any picture i am opening a new image preset was already added in the preset menu but you need to import so you need to preset menu and then click on the right and then select the import preset open the location where you set my preset and select the preset interior brighter if i try to import it shows it was already imported but when i use the preset on the new image picture looks so bad because we use masking according to the old image so you need to place the mask on the right area by dragging it so i am creating changing according to the new image without adding new mask and i am creating those masks that i have no need see before and after actually this image required a different preset so i am creating a new preset for the less dark image by selecting create preset in the preset menu and giving the name integer less now you have two presets one for the dark picture and second for the less dark i am resetting the editing and applying the preset integer less see the difference before and after that's all for the today soon i will come with the new tutorial thanks for watching